this is Terry Honeycutt with my photo borders. Today I've got a new design I want to go over for you guys. Um, this one's called the Brick Wall. I think you're going to really, um, really like this design. Uh, it works great for um, basketball. It'll work perfect for volleyball and and also wrestling. Um, pretty much any indoor sport. Um, I think it'll be great. So uh, let's go ahead and, and get started. I just want to kind of show you the basic features here of this design and how, um, how you can use it for different sports. So I do have some images already preloaded that I'm just going to run through real quick. So I'm going to turn on the uh, basketball player first. Uh, and so if you notice, we do have a logo in the background um, where you can actually get your own school logo from the school. Um, and replace this logo with your school logo so make sure when you get your logos it's going to be best if you can ask for a um, uh, a logo that, ha that has a transparent file a PDF PNG or if you work in Illustrator uh, some type of vector file will be best uh, for this uh, and you don't have to actually use a logo you can replace it with just text if you want on the wall and then we also have the basketball go at the top, um, which is also you can turn off and on. So I'm going to kind of go through here and show you what you can do with it. So, so in this example, we do have the basketball go on, but let's say for some reason you, you just don't want to use it. So we can come down here to this layer. It's highlighted in green. Um, it says basketball go on and off. Just turn that off. And then you can actually replace that go with a banner on the wall so if I turn these on these are the ones that are color coded in orange um, and so of course uh, on the banner you can uh, double click here on the banner color uh, if you want to change the color to match your team you can do so right there the uh, banner text we actually have it set up as a smart object so that it can kind of follow the angle of the wall so keep in mind also that on smart objects, um, there it's only compatible with Adobe Photoshop as far as I understand. Uh, so if you have Adobe Elements, then you're going to have to work around this and you'll have to try to transform the text uh, to fit the walls. And the same thing with the logo, you'll have to try to transform it to fit the wall properly. Uh, Photoshop makes this real simple and it's definitely worth the worth the money to invest in Adobe Photoshop especially if you're doing this kind of work so for the banner text itself you can just double click on the smart object it's going to bring open a, a separate file um, you can actually turn this black layer on here so you can kind of see the text and the text fields are right here so basically you just replace the text with whatever you want to say um, Make sure after you change the text, hide the black layer. Uh, then you're going to close this out and just say changes, say yes. So basically that's just a smart object file there uh, that's opening up for you. And you, you basically double click right here on this little icon, this little thumbnail. Um, that's how you activate the uh, smart object. So um, there is another text option I've included in this. Uh, so if you want this nice kind of bold, bulky text, um, which looks pretty good, I think, you can leave it on. But let's say you, you do not want this text, then just turn these two off. And I also have like a script font here that you can use as well. Um, and so it's your choice. So either turn these two off and just turn these on. Um, and decide which font you want to use. The um, the logo on the wall, of course, it's a smart object as well. And this is the one I have highlighted here in purple. So just um, same thing. If you double click on this little icon, it's going to bring open the uh, the logo layer. And um, so this the text layers here. Uh, where it says West Tremont Warriors so that that is edible text uh, if you want to keep that uh, and then you can just drop a logo in place of this one if you want or like I say you can just um, change it completely out and add your new logo within this space 
So uh, once you make the changes here, just be sure to close it out and you're just gonna save it and say yes. Okay, so that's pretty much the basketball layout. Like I say, you have two options. Um, you can go with the banner or not and bring the go back up. So it's your choice which look you want. So let's go ahead and hide the basketball player and I'm gonna show you the volleyball, what you can do with it. So um, let's say you decide you wanna do this volleyball girl. Um, and let's say we may want to do the um, the uh, nice script font here. And so I'm just going to double click. Um, and her name is Tracy Grants. And she is number one. All right, so we'll do that. All right, so the wall section down here, we'll go ahead and show you how to change that. Uh, and that's going to be these layers down here near the bottom uh, you'll see bottom paint color middle paint color top paint color so let's go ahead and double click on the bottom paint color I'm just going to take a sample from her shirt uh, so let's go with that and then once I do that I'm going to actually just copy this uh, number code here we'll just say copy so that'll make it easier when we do the top paint color and we'll come here double click and I'm just going to paste that in there we go. And so the middle stripe you can make, you know, if you want to change it, let's say, you know, you want to put some yellow in there or it's your choice. It's all, each section of the wall is changeable. Okay. So of course we've got a volleyball girl. We're going to want to hide this banner. Uh, I'm sorry, we want to hide the basketball go. And we're going to turn the banner on. Okay. So First off, I'm gonna go ahead and change the banner color. And let's go ahead and put the same color value in there. Actually, we can probably make it a little darker. Let's go, ahead, let's go with that. All right, so of course, we want this to say volleyball. So we're gonna come here on the uh, banner smart object here. Um, we're gonna turn on this layer so we can see what's going on. And we're gonna replace this text with volleyball and the warriors text I'm just going to say girls for now All right, so that looks good we're going to turn the uh, black layer off we're going to close this out and we're going to save it that will automatically update the uh, banner on the wall so and then for the background I've actually included a uh, a nice little volleyball logo that we used in one of our other designs uh, since I already had it built I felt it was appropriate just to add it to this wall so that you can use it this would be in case you don't have a school logo maybe or you don't you know you just have, don't have any ideals then you can go ahead and go with this one so um, let me hide the girl here a second so basically it's just a volleyball, a nice little volleyball logo. You can change the team name and I'm going to open this up and show you. Uh, it's the one here that says volleyball wall, wall logo. So double click and you can see here the logo itself um, can be customized. Uh, even the background colors, the ball, the inner circles, each one of those can, can be controlled here with these color swatches. Uh, the team name basically right here you can change it to whatever you want even the word volleyball if you didn't want it or you wanted to say something else so it's all pretty flexible um, once again once you make changes be sure to close it and save and it'll update whatever changes you make on this wall so um, like I say it's pretty easy to use um, and like I say if you don't have your own logo this makes a great logo to, to go on the wall so Turn the girl back on. So basically, that's it. The only other thing you can do is down here, of course, where it says forward. Um, you're going to want to change this to say whatever you want, spike or, uh, or you can just any text you want to add in that bottom. You can. Uh, one other thing is I do have a basketball here on the floor. Um, you won't. You will need to hide that. So. This is the basketball and the basketball shadow underneath. So just basically turn those two off. And I do have a volleyball here that you can replace it with. 
So turn both of those on. Um, so that kind of gives us the volleyball. So I just want to show you one more thing. Uh, let me hide the girl. Let's hide the volleyball. Uh, just want to show you that you can use other guys. It doesn't have to be volleyball or basketball. You can even use wrestlers in here, uh, which would work great. Um, in this case, you will, like I say, you'll put some logo that you have for the wrestling team on the wall, change the banner out, change the wall colors. Um, pretty much that's it. Um, uh, like I say, everything is pretty much, uh, the layers are pretty self-explanatory as you go up through here. Um, all the text is highlighted in yellow. Um, always drop your photo above this layer. Um, and that's pretty much about it. So we do have this design uh, in horizontal formats. It's gonna be in a panoramic format. Um, it's pretty much the same concept. Um, it's gonna have wall banners and, and everything uh, goes. Uh, so if you follow this video, you'll be able to work with the other templates pretty easy as well. So that's all I have. If you have any questions or ever need any help, um, please feel free to contact me. Uh, keep in mind, we always offer free remote support. If you get stuck or need help, uh, just shoot me an email, give me a call. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.